Hepatitis B is caused by a virus that attacks your liver. Hepatitis literally means inflammation of the liver. This inflammation can be the result of an infection caused by the virus. Although chronic hepatitis B is the world's most common serious liver infection, you can't catch it like the common cold. The virus is spread through contact with infected blood or bodily fluids, such as what may happen if you share toothbrushes or razors. Many children are infected at birth by their mothers. Most typically, however, hepatitis B is spread through unprotected sex or injection drug use. Now that we understand the disease basics, let's talk more specifically about its symptoms. You may experience nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and abdominal pain. Or you may be among the 30% of people who do not have any symptoms when they are infected. Your liver is the largest and perhaps the most complex organ inside your body. It's located in the upper right portion of your abdomen, right below your lungs. An infection in your liver is dangerous because your liver has many important functions. First, it serves as the body's chemical factory, making things like bile that help with digesting your food. Next, the liver serves as the body's storage place for vitamins, iron, and reserve energy. And last but not least, the liver is the body's filter for harmful or toxic substances. Without it, these bad things can build up in your blood, making you very sick. If you do not treat chronic hepatitis B, the infection can lead to a condition called cirrhosis of the liver. Cirrhosis is the destruction of normal liver tissue. Hardened scars are left behind, which prevent blood from freely flowing through the liver. Often, cirrhosis is merely setting the stage for liver cancer. Chronic hepatitis B is the leading cause of liver cancer worldwide, which is why people who have the virus must be checked regularly for cancer. When a person is first infected with the hepatitis B virus, this is called an acute infection. Most adults will fight off the virus and recover without any problems. If the virus remains in the blood for more than six months, a person is then diagnosed as having a chronic infection or chronic hepatitis B. Fortunately, 90% of healthy adults will recover and develop antibodies against the hepatitis B virus. Unfortunately, this is not true for babies and young children. About 90% of babies and 50% of young children are unable to get rid of the virus. People who recover from an acute hepatitis B infection will develop protective antibodies. After fighting the virus once, the body knows how to protect a person from getting a hepatitis B infection again. They become immune to the hepatitis B virus. For those who do not get rid of the virus after six months of infection, this means the virus may stay in the liver and blood for a lifetime. These people are diagnosed as having chronic hepatitis B. Although most people with chronic hepatitis B have long healthy lives, they do have a greater risk of developing serious liver disease later in life. The virus can quietly and continuously attack the liver over many years without being detected.
the jungle.